It took several months, interviews with eight different candidates, additional interviews with the top four candidates. But after much deliberation, Circle Pines has found their new city administrator. I was kind of born into this uh, profession. My dad was a city manager. I grew up in Moorhead, Minnesota. Uh, went to the University of Minnesota for undergrad, went to the University of South Dakota for grad school, started working in Iowa, and always knew that wanted to make it back to Minnesota and make it back to the Twin Cities area. The job of hiring the city administrator is the responsibility of the city council. Circle Pines Mayor Dave Bartholomew knew it would be tough to replace Jim Kyneth, who had served the community for 30 years. But in the end, Bartholomew said it turned out as it usually did with Jim. He was right. Moving ahead from uh, Jim was a tough call, but you know, at the end of the process, after he'd gone this long search process, uh, I went up to him, I talked to him because he was right. I said, you know, he always was telling me, don't worry about this, this will work out fine. And I kept saying, I don't know, I don't know. You know, you've been here 30 years, you're doing a great job, how do we make this turn? And he said, somebody will come along and they'll have a lot more energy than I will. And they'll have some new ideas that I just don't have and it's time for me to go fishing up north and that's what I want to do. So uh, he was right. We ended up with a, a great uh, group of folks to look through and ended up with a real winner. The stability that Kyneth brought to the city is one reason why Antonin pursued the job. Yeah, you know, Circle Pines has you know, been managed very, very well for 30 plus years. You know, these, these opportunities don't come up very often. So when, you, when they do come along, you kind of got to kind of jump at it. So uh, my wife and I are very happy to be here and looking forward to you know, being here for hopefully a very long time. Antonin has spent the first few weeks getting to know his new community. And so far, he has been impressed. Very nice community. Looking at the, the park system, all the public uh, infrastructure is, is, is outstanding. I mean, that's, it's just really, really nice community, uh, great roads. The city administrator role in Circle Pines is unique. The city also runs its own natural gas utility, which is uncommon, especially in today's landscape. Um, the gas utility is very unique. I've not had to operate a gas utility before, so that's a really uh, interesting new challenge because it is, you know, it's very unusual for a city to have their own gas utility. Most cities have water, sewer, garbage. Those are kind of the common utilities. A lot of cities have electric too, but uh, gas is, is unique and that's um, it's kind of a moving target because, you know, every day the market changes. So and it's all about, you know, you're kind of hedging your bets to make sure that you provide the best service for the, for the citizens at the, at the best rate possible. The council is looking forward to having Antonin's youthful enthusiasm as an asset for the community. And Antonin is going to focus on building upon the stability put in place by his predecessor. Um, he brings a lot of energy. He's a real sharp guy. Uh, he's working towards a PhD, which isn't obviously needed or required for this field, but it just shows his depth of interest. Don't plan on changing a lot, but just kind of maintain the, the quality of life that people come to expect by living in Circle Pines. For North Metro TV News, Ben Hale reporting.